Wow, this is sad. My daughter sent me this TikTok video right here. <clears throat> and we was just talking about her situation last week. And it's almost identical as this girl's uh, situation. You know, this girl right here is 27. My daughter is 28. She lives in Florida. My daughter lives in Texas. You know, she got a degree. My daughter got a degree. My daughter even got a master's degree. And my daughter teaches at a school. But my daughter rent have went up. She was paying $1,300 a month. It have went up to $1,900 a month. So next month, she's going to have to move back in with us. Because I'm going to break down all her bills. And like I said, her situation is almost identical. It is crazy. I think all this stuff that these housing people are doing, these apartments, they should be prosecuted for all of this stuff. I, these kids cannot survive. Just imagine if they don't, my daughter's situation. What if she didn't have nobody that she can move in with? She would be in bad, bad shape. But check this out, uh, what this girl is saying, and then I'm gonna break down what my daughter, uh, how she, what she have to survive off of. Check this out. Can we talk about something serious for a second? I am 27 years old now. I have a full-time job. I worked really hard to get here. I have a college degree, everything like that. I'm financially responsible. And in one month, I'm going to have to move out of my apartment because I can no longer afford it. To be really transparent, I live in Florida and I pay about twelve to $1,300 a month for my apartment, not including utilities, like all that good stuff. I got my rent renewal offer last month. They raised the rent $900 for my apartment. It is not even a thousand square feet. It is like 800. And honestly, I'm fine. I'm moving back in with my parents. But what about the people who don't have family here? What are they going to do? Okay, this is my daughter's situation. She's in the same situation as this young lady was in. You know, my daughter got her master's degree. but She's teaching at a school when she applied for other places like for chemical companies or to make more money. They said she don't have enough work experience how can you have enough work experience when you spent most of your time in school it's crazy it's kind of messed up but i'm gonna just show you as a teacher this is the monthly salary this is the yearly so we're gonna go with the month she makes a right at fifty four hundred dollars a month okay then you pay 20 percent taxes that's right at a thousand dollars then you got to pay medical insurance at six hundred dollars a month then if she puts some money into her retirement account, $300 a month. Now you got car insurance, $170 a month. Now she got a car note. I know people are gonna say, oh, why she need to sell a car? She need to get a cheaper car. We'll deal with that. I help her out. But it's she she do drive a Mercedes, but it is $600 a month. Her rent, it was $1,300 a month. Next month, it's going up to $1,900 a month. So that's a $600 a month increase. That should be criminal. The girls there in Florida, hers went up $900. That's crazy. Electric bill, $70 a month. And I'm probably underestimating that. It may be more like $110 a month. Then you got a mobile phone bill, $60 a month. Credit cards. She had to start using her credit cards because she didn't have enough money. So now she's paying a hundred dollars a month on credit cards that's just on interest groceries a hundred and fifty dollars a month i'm underestimating that the price of food is going up so much so we'll just we'll, we'll just say a hundred and fifty dollars it's probably more like two hundred dollars a month just imagine if she had to pay her student loan it's deferred she owed about sixty to seventy thousand dollars in student loans like I said, you spend all of this time in school and you try to get a job and they say you need work experience. All this stuff is criminal. Then, you know, young ladies, they got to get their nails, their hairs and clothes. That's $100 a month. That's really cheap right there. I'm, I'm pretty sure she spent a little bit more than that. Then eating out. You know, your friends go out and eat. Uh, $50 a month? I don't think so. I'd say that's more like 150 but I put 50 Gas. 
<laughs> we know the price of gas I went up crazy but I'm, I'm saying if she fill up two times a month seventy dollars it cost, probably costs more than that uh, with the supreme for that vehicle but we're gonna just go with 150 then you got vehicle maintenance you know uh, you got your inspection you got to get your oil change get the brakes and everything I'm estimating about fifty dollars a month so there you go when you add all of that up at the end of the month here go what she will have let's open this spreadsheet she will have twenty dollars left over just imagine if she had to, had to pay the student loan the price of gas is going up so really she's negative negative. and you see if she pay all of that stuff she will end up with twenty dollars so uh, if she had any kind of emergencies she'll be in bad shape what you guys think about this you know she's gonna move in so she'll be able to save on her rent and you know in um, light bills and stuff like that so I'm gonna try to get her to save maybe a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars a month and put it into a savings the stock market is terrible <laughs> it's crashing today I don't know if you guys seen it today it is terrible so putting your money in stocks and stuff here you lo you're losing it all right now so we're trying to figure this out and I help her figure it out and she's fortunate enough that she can move in with us you know the apartment she's staying in is probably about 800 square feet of one bed one bedroom paying $1,900 a month I got a 3,500 square foot house and I pay right at $900 a month that's crazy and she's gonna pay a thousand dollars a month more than me and I stay in a nice neighborhood and 3,500 square feet five bedrooms she can move on in with me I take care of her she's my little girl even though she's 28 years old but anyway you guys tell me what you think and if you know similar situations leave comments below and again thanks for watching and subscribe to my channel and have a great day